We're in the northeast of Norwich on the Salhouse Road, just beyond the Hartsey's estate. The Pink Pedalway crosses the Salhouse Road at a Toucan crossing and then just sort of stops in Harrison's Wood. The map shows the Pink Pedalway continuing along Salhouse Road. Now, Salhouse Road is a very, very busy road and really it's not one to be ridden on a bicycle, not in normal traffic. Today it's very quiet, that's unusual. Further along the Salhouse Road, we come to Atlantic Way and that has nice cycle tracks. And then beyond that, they're extending the cycle track. Now this route is slated to be extended as far as Wroxham and it's logical to assume that the new cycleway being built will form a part of that extension. So let's have a look, see how good it is. So we start on the Salhouse Road at a random point, but it's the end of the building site. So, okay, this is very much a work in progress. The, this route isn't finished by a long way. So we'll have to make allowances for that. But the first section, we're going along here. This is great. This is a lovely smooth surface. And it's a reasonably wide pedalway. This is, this is how things should be. Normally the Salhouse Road is a very, very busy road. Normally you wouldn't want to be cycling along that. So we come to the first junction of the new building site. And yeah, okay, it's a building site. So we'll have to be careful going around here. And where do we go? Oh, we can go around the edge. Okay, we're staying outside of the, the fenced off area. So we get back onto the path. And again, it continues a nice quality cycle track. Nicely separated from the road, you notice. So the traffic isn't too much of a problem here. And now we're coming up to another entrance into the uh, housing estate. And again, we'll have to be careful of some fences. This one's more completed. And you see we've got a speed table over the uh, entrance. And I suppose that'll have a right away for the cycleway. So all well and good so far. This bit's a bit difficult. This is obviously just a, a temporary entrance into the building site. So we'll get off and push because this isn't the sort of surface I'd like to ride my road bike over. It's got narrow wheels and high pressure tyres and these stones would probably kill it. So we get back on the on the bike and head off down. Again, the cycle track continues. This is lovely. This is how cycle track should be. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this at all. Oh, what's happening? Suddenly the cycle track has vanished and we're on a very narrow path right on the edge of Salhouse Road. Now, as I say, normally this road is very, very busy. You would not want to be walking here. What on earth is going on? We seem to be passing a house of some kind. See how close that lorry was. This just doesn't make sense. We come to the other end of this fence and the cycle track starts up again. Um, let's just turn around and have a look. See what's going on here. Cyclist dismount, the sign says. So let's take a look, see what all this is about. It's obviously a private house and there's been some kind of dispute about selling the land, I would imagine. The new gate posts are obviously built further back from the road, so the owner seems to be expecting to settle this. But for now, they've built this narrow footpath. I mean, this can't be allowed to, to stand. This has to be sorted out. So I've no idea what's going on here. It's unbelievable. But the cyclist dismount signs give the impression that nobody's in too much of a hurry to sort this out. It's unthinkable this can be allowed to stand. Absolutely unthinkable. 
So anyway, we'll carry on. That was quite unbelievable. And now we're, we're getting fairly close to the Atlantic Way now. Again, nice smooth, straight cycle path. Nothing wrong with this bit. And we're coming up now for some more building work area, so we'll have to uh, stop the ride along here in a minute. Of course, it's worth pointing out that despite being new build, this is still a shared use footpath. It really should be a segregated cycleway. And yeah, okay, I can't go any further. The, the cycle track will continue further along, which is fine. So, strangely, there's nothing coming on a very quiet South House Road. And the cycle track picks up on the other side of the road. Now, the new one seems to carry on for a little bit and then stop. So, presumably, there's going to be some kind of traffic crossing there. You know, traffic lights, toucan crossing or something. We'll see. This is Atlantic Way. Now, Atlantic Way is a, a new housing estate uh, with built-in cycle track and that goes all the way down to Roxham Road. That would be the subject of a, a future video, I think. But we turn left here and we come back onto Salhouse Road and we head towards Norwich. And straight ahead is Harrison's Wood. This is where the council map shows the pink pedal way continuing along Salhouse Road and as I say you wouldn't normally want to cycle along Salhouse Road so what's going to happen the cycle tracks continuing it isn't showing any signs of deviating no it just stops Now, it's been like this for a couple of years, actually. So perhaps there's a way through that we can use. So I'll carry on riding. And oh dear, this does not look good. Don't want to fall off into these bushes. And I hit a rock and nearly do. However, we keep going. And you see, there's no way you can go straight ahead there. That's not a path. And about a year ago, it did look as though they were going to start building the cycle track through here, but nothing came of it. So we followed the track through the wood. And I'm now aware that something's happened to my front mug guard with that near crash there. So I'll have to stop and uh, sort that out. But this is, uh, this is a track through the wood which hardly counts, I think, as a, a viable route. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mend this mug guard. But anyway, quickly mend the bike. So we'll speed this bit up because it's, uh, it's very slow progress. Now, as I say, about a year ago or so, they did start, or it looked like they were starting to clear the, uh, the undergrowth. To build a cycle track along the side of the road. Nothing seems to have come of it. So for now, this is what you have to do. You can see the land they've cleared there. Your guess is as good as mine as to what's happening. Watch out for fallen trees. I mean, this is very nice, but I wouldn't like to try it in the dark in winter. And so here we are at the northeastern end of the Pink Pedalway and the pedestrian crossing across Salhouse Road onto the Pedalway.